As all you brothers and sisters out there today, we're just going to pray to the Lord. Pray to the God of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ho, ho. Ho. Let's praise the Lord. Praise. The, I said praise the Lord. Sounds like my car in the morning trying to start a... <laughs> we got a snowstorm out there today. Many people are stuck in their homes. We got to pray for the, all the people out there. So let's pray. Hallelujah. Oh, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I thank you that you sent your word to this earth. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. To fulfill all the commandments oh hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord some fool wrote that the fallen angels are in the first heaven but these people don't know the truth that satan is in hell just like benny hinn and joyce meyer and uh Kenneth Copeland teach my heroes of the hour. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you sent your Son to fulfill your word. Hallelujah. And that's even more, Lord. We thank you that the apostles changed your commandments. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. So that we don't have to keep them. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, Father, you've made it so easy for us now. Just to get as much money as we can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are so good. You came to make us rich with money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just as the Pharisees hated Jesus, we also hate those who try to keep your commandments, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Because Jesus kept them all. Hallelujah. And even though in his life he taught people to keep them and love those who are keeping the commandments of God and said one thing you lack give up everything and follow me but I thank you Lord that you've given me so much possessions hallelujah so much money hallelujah and that's what the church is today it's just about money and possessions hallelujah and that even though Jesus looked upon that boy and said he loved him because he said he kept the commandments from the youth we thank you that Jesus kept these commandments so that we don't have to. And all we need is lots of cars, lots of boats, lots of houses. Lustful people in our churches that uh, their minds are just filled with money and possession. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Do you feel the Holy Spirit? Do you feel the Holy Spirit today? Oh, we bless your name, Lord. We thank you that... Well, we think maybe it was the Apostle Paul who changed the Sabbath. Hallelujah. We don't need to keep the Sabbath anymore. Because we want to work on that day. We want to, people to tithe to us. We want people to be working and making money so they can give it to us on the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. We want, if even if there was an eighth day of the week, we would invent a new calendar so that people could work more days. Hallelujah. And give us more money. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Just as you took the Israelites out of Egypt in order to reintroduce to them all your commandments, you have taken us out of poverty and you have given us money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you have given us so much understanding of your word, Lord, that we can spend quality time with our family putting baubles on 
the triangle or tree of the knowledge of good and evil, I think it's called Christ Mass. Isn't it great, Lord, that you put Christ in the Mass? Isn't it great, Lord, that you invented Catholicism? Isn't it great, Lord, that we can just go to a Catholic church and get healed right now? Just go to a Catholic church and get healed right now. This is Benny Hinn, by the way. It's not really Benny. It's Benny Hinn's brother. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Ooh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, God. That's, we do not have to keep your commandments anymore. We just have to receive the tithe money. Just send people emails and say, Brother, I need some money. Send me money. If you don't send me money, you're not a Christian. I will judge you. I will say to you, you're not a Christian. If you only send 100 pounds, I will say, well, it's okay, but you don't really love me that much. I think more a thousand just to begin with. Because I'm trying to raise 100,000 pounds to travel the world. Hallelujah. I need lots of money. Money, 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 money. Hallelujah. Woe to these Christians that try to keep God's commandments and teach them. They are least in the kingdom of God. I think that's what Jesus said, if I remember correctly. If you try to keep God's commandments, or if you do keep them, and you uh, teach men so that you should be rejected, hated, that you're a Pharisee, that you are uh, an evil, wicked person. Because you are trying to do something which is impossible to do. Impossible to do. All you really need to do is to give me money. Give me money. Thank you. So Father, we praise you. That I think that your apostles changed your word so much as it says there is a change in the law. And so we know that th that means the law is done away. That's what it means. A change in the law means there is no more law to keep. Hallelujah. We don't need to find out what the changes are in the law. Not at all. We don't need to keep any of them. We just go to the Catholic Church. And, and we give them money and you get healed. And if you happen to go to a charismatic church. Give them money. Thank you. That's what Christianity really truly truly is. Sow your seed into this ministry right now. I can see people driving around in Mercedes. I can see people driving around in uh, uh, Rolls Royce. Right now, I think there's a, a woman wearing a yellow top right now who's going to drive around in a Rolls Royce if you uh, send 10,000 pounds into this uh, ministry right now. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All these hypocrites who say uh, that's... You know that when you are born again, you have you have to keep the commandments of God. My God, these people are sick, sick-minded people. Hallelujah! Jesus died so that we can uh, follow the different gods and have uh, fellowship with all the different gods. You know, the God of Christmas, the God of Ishtar, the God of Halloween, all the all the Christian festivals like that. Hallelujah. So I thank you for listening. I hope you really felt the presence of God today. Thank you.